Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an Airbus A330 pilot and in today's video I want to spread a little bit of pilot lore. The question is why does the A330 handle so sluggish? Now you would think that an aircraft with a modern flyby wire flight control system could easily handle like a Ferrari. Indeed, if you ask any Airbus A380 pilot how the A380 flies, they're going to tell you, oh, it's super responsive, just like the A320, you absolutely don't feel the size of the aircraft. On the other hand side, if you're flying an A330, have a good look at my stick movement compared to the aircraft movement. Look at how long it takes for the airplane to respond, how much it keeps rolling after I've already released my stick. That's strange, isn't it? The plane really feels like it's very slow to react, has a very high inertia. It just feels like there's something wrong with the plane, doesn't it? Well, in this video we will go over a little bit of the rumors that are circulating among A330 pilots of why that may possibly be. Especially so since the A330neo reacts a lot more direct and has a lot less of this drag effect and of this inertia feeling to it than the A330CO. So why is that? Well, the rumors are that we have to go back in the A330 history. You will notice that the A330 was developed out of the Airbus A300 and therefore based on an aircraft that's originally been designed in the 1970s. Now. The A300 was known to handle a little bit sluggish and it didn't have any fly-by-wire systems and stuff around these likes. So obviously for pilots at the time who are current on the Airbus A300, when they transition to the A330 and see that even larger aircraft that can fly at a much higher maximum takeoff weight, it would be kind of logical to assume that the aircraft would be a little bit more laggy in the controls and just a little bit harder to steer precisely. Well, and therefore Airbus des decided, well, we are building our aircraft the way pilots would expect them to operate and therefore they made it that bit more sluggish. A prime example of this happening happened to me when I actually talked to the Boeing 737 MAX chief pilot and he told me that Boeing in their aircraft designs intentionally makes their fly-by-wire to make the aircraft behave like the pilots would expect them to behave. And he told me something around the lines of, well, the current generation of aircraft is piloted by pilots who mostly learned how to fly in a Cessna 172 or a Piper 28. The next generation of pilots, however, learned to fly their aircraft on iPads using your favorite average iPad flight simulator. Now, why does that make a difference? Basically because many of those simulators we currently have, think Microsoft Flight Simulator, think whatever you have available on iPad doesn't really simulate trimming an aircraft properly. Therefore, the, that generation of pilots will kind of expect that the aircraft goes where you point it to go without the need to trim anything. And therefore, he kind of expected that the next generation of Boeing aircraft might also have a full auto trim system installed, just like our current generation of Airbus aircraft because that is how those future pilots basically learned how to operate aircraft. But remember, all of those are of course just rumors and we cannot verify that anything of this is actually true, but it is a theory that I think sounds kind of reasonable and that would also explain why the A330neo as a much much newer aircraft reacts in a similar way than the A320 does compared to the A330CO, for which a retrofit is actually available to airlines, but almost no airline has actually installed that, since it would come with major problems in terms of what do you do while your fleet is in the transition phase. Are you actually going to have some aircraft react that way and other aircraft react that way? In that case, what do you do with the pilots? Do you want to train them for both? Do you want to train them only for one of the two ways? And if you do that, what are you going to do with 
aircraft changes. What are you going to do if all of a sudden a pilot needs to fly one of those other aircraft because they broke down or because you might have pilots on layover and you gotta send one of the aircraft that has the modified flight control system while the pilots who flew it there aren't used to that. You can see that there's actually all different kinds of issues that are coming up when it comes to retrofitting the modern flight control system into the A330. Now there is one other theory that we can talk about here for a little bit, but I personally don't think it sounds as reasonable, and that is the fact that since the modification of the flyby wire system to the old A330 CEOs requires newer and faster computers to be fitted, people say that, well, maybe it just wasn't possible to actually get the flight controls to work like they do on the A350, for example, back in the 1990s when the A330 was designed. Well, that is an interesting theory. I personally do not really believe it to be true because we always got to remember that the A320 made its first flight much prior to the Airbus A330, a couple of years, and the A320 back then already had a more direct fly-by-wire system than the A330 has it to this date. So, whichever of those theories is true, we can't say for sure, but do let me know in the comments what you think which of the two theories is true. I'm very much looking forward to that one and to hear your take on it. Thank you very much for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And since I know that you guys do love to see my landings in action, let's fast forward this a little bit. And if it gets a smooth one, then be sure to hit that subscribe button right down there. In any case, if you do love my work, if you do love my channel, I would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me Coffee link in the video description below. And with that out of the way, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and if this gets a smooth landing, subscribe. And then I'm looking forward to see you all again on the next one.